diagram to split the map into certain regions. Okay, so I've got A and B on the diagram here. I've got 9, 4 for B. I've got 1, 8 for A. And I've got a 10 by 10 grid. So I'm going to try and replicate that in Desmos. So just search for Desmos. Open up the graphing calculator. So first of all, I'm going to set the uh, 10 by 10 grid. So X equals 0. Uh, X equals 10. Y equals 0. And Y equals 10. If you click on the little spanner and go to projector mode it will make it a bit bigger and then can you see i've just sealed off a 10 by 10 grid there okay so we'll just keep it like that now let's plot on the points that we want we'll label them a and b so a is at 1 comma 8 so we just open up a, a bracket 1 comma 8 and it's asking if you want to label it you do you want to label it a which makes sense and then was this a uh, 9 comma 4 was this a uh, b on here uh, we'll just check uh, so 9,4 indeed it was. All right. So the idea is how do we actually allocate every point in this grid? Is it closer to B or is it closer to A? All right. So if I just plotted, I don't know, if I just plotted any point here, I just go to here and just plot a 1,1 1, here. And if I just move this point around anyway, is this closer to A or is it closer to B? But do the same for all the points here. So the key there was to plot the perpendicular bisector. So you worked out the perpendicular bisector. And I think it was this one, y equals 2x minus 4. And what you'll find is that every single point on this line is equidistant from both A and B. So every single point is both equidistant from A and B. I think this point here, 5, 6, was the midpoint of AB. And it's equidistant to both A and B. So this acts as a boundary. So everything in this top region here is closer to A. And everything in this bottom region here is closer to B. So that, look, that looks quite nice as it is. But what we can do is we can just do a, a nice little copy onto our clipboard. Google document there. So what I'm going to do is instead of just pasting on here, I'm actually going to go insert a drawing. And I'm going to paste it into the drawing um, bit of software here. Okay, so that, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So now I'm going to actually shade in the regions that I want. And you've got a nice little tool here. On the down arrow here, select the polyline. Okay, so here, um, my hands are free now. They're not touching the keyboard. And I'm just pointing to the vertexes or the vertices of the polygon I'm going to draw out. You just click once. So click once, click, twice, click, three, click, four, click, then back to the start, five, click. You see it fills in a beautiful, beautiful section. So all of those houses that are in that kind of region, in fact, that kind of cell, that cell uh, is the proper language we're going to use, uh, but they're, they're closer to A. So if you can get to A, you know, using quick roads, of course, then those points in the blue section are closest to site A, and then the rest you can see are closer to B. But we'd like to see where A is. So if you click on the fill color, click on the custom, and then drag the transparency to about halfway, You've got it there. Now notice I've still got the crosshairs on my cursor here. So I've still got the poly scribble on. So I'll just click once, click twice, click three, click four, click five back to the start. And I'm going to choose a different color, just choose a bit of a green, and then color again, custom, transparency, OK, save and close. That was a pretty good diagram, yeah? So that, that's a nice diagram. That's how to use Desmos to set the kind of boundaries of the map, I suppose. Plot the two points A and B on there, and then draw in the perpendicular bisector, and paste it into a Google Doc. But rather than pasting it in just the image, insert a drawing and paste it into the drawing section, then you can do this uh, nice bit of a uh, fancy work there.